dreams. They are our goals, our plan for tomorrow, our future. Shattered, broken, ruined, destroyed. Dreams are shattered, friends and family are saddened, hearts are broken, lives are lost or changed forever. I am Amy Coates, a nurse living and working in your community. On behalf of the Shattered Dreams Planning Committee, who also live and work in your communities, I am honored to welcome you to today's program and to introduce you to Austin Weed. Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to Shattered Dreams 2017. Um, like Amy said, my name is Austin, and today is actually a really big day, to, day for me. Uh, one year ago today, I was in a nearly fatal car wreck, and it was rough. It was a rough time for me. Um, I lost my leg through that, but I've been able to bounce back with a positive mindset. And today, like, we just want y'all to learn about how your everyday choices, they affect you, not just in the moment, but going on at five years, 10 years, 20 years down the road. That, and we face choices every day. And a lot of the times we just face, we make these choices, we pick, pick them by how we feel in that moment. Like something that, like, oh, this is how it's gonna impact me right now. We don't always think about how down the line it's gonna affect us. I know the day I was in a car, the day of my car wreck, I made a choice, me and my friend, we made a choice that was affecting us right then. We weren't thinking about the consequences that could come along later. So I feel like of all of us together, we just start looking at choices and start, before we make a choice, think of like, okay, how will this affect me down the line? How will this affect my friends, my family, and other people I don't know? I feel like if we did that, this world will be a lot better place. So I really hope that y'all just get something from today and you learn a lot. Thank you. Okay, well, floor is pretty up there, but we had five in the first half. Five? five? Oh, Only sorry. five, come on now. Five, five, hey, whoa, 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 hold on, my mom's calling, guys. Hello? Hey, I'm just letting you know we had a really bad baby and I'm gonna be stuck here for a while, so I probably won't be home till pretty late. Yeah, that, that's okay. Um, can I spend the night at Tana's? Um, have you got all your homework done and everything's finished? Yes. All right, well, you be really careful and you better make sure that you text me a few times so okay. let me know what's going on. All right, I love you, sweetheart. Okay, bye, Mom, love you. <laughs> bye, Mom, Mom, love you. I love you, Mom. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this party better be good.
on getting there. I'll be there here in just a little bit. Hi. Get the phone. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Playing on my iPad. Oh, playing on your iPad? You getting ready for bed here in a little bit? Yes. Say we love you, Dad. We love you, Dad. I love you too, buddy. Daddy will be home here in just a little bit, okay? Okay. All right. I'll see you soon, big guy. Okay. Say bye, Daddy. Daddy. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Mm, bye. <laughs> it was so fun. Manuel, you, you okay, dude? Yeah, I'm fine. Dude, Manuel. <laughs> sure, Manuel? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? That one was kind of lame, dude. Mateo. <laughs> 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 Mateo, oh my gosh. Yeah, that was kind of lame. <laughs> Check on this one down here on the floor. <laughs> Haley, Haley, please talk to What's me. Going? You okay? Are you hurt? <laughs> What's your name? Manuel. Manuel. Is there anybody else in the car? My, my friend Mateo. Mateo? Mateo, you okay, buddy? No. Can you get out of the, are you able to get out of the vehicle? I don't think so. What's hurt, man? I don't know. My arm, my face. All right, just hang tight. The medics are going to be here in just a minute. All right, thanks. Check on her. Tell me what happened, man. We were just driving, got distracted, and can't remember much. Who was driving? I, I was. You were driving? Yes, sir. Okay, where were y'all coming from? We were coming from a party. Party? All right. What, were, what was going on in the vehicle when all this was happening? Um, when my friend was trying to take a picture, and it just all happened very quickly. All right, just sit tight. Hang out right here, all right? Don't move. Mateo, the medics are getting here. Just hang tight. They'll be right here for you, all right? We're checking on them. You just sit tight. Don't worry about it right now. I need you to stay with this officer right here. This is going to be our driver. If you just hang on okay. here, please. Come on over here. What's your name, man? Manuel. Manuel. What about, what about my friends? Don't worry about your friend. Let's take care of you first. Come on over here. What's, Manuel, where are you coming from, man? A, a party. A party? Yes. Okay. Manuel, I can smell the odor of alcohol on your breath. What, hey, brother, you been drinking today? All right. Yes. We had a head-on vehicle crash. We have one dead on arrival in this vehicle over here. Four in here. Two were able to get out on their own. One still trapped in here, unable to get out. One ejected onto the ground over here. All right. All right. We got five five patients on scene, guys. Let me check this out. Yeah. That was, that was gone. The white car that was involved in the vehicle. 
Hi, right, sir. Are you the driver? I'm Sergeant Diaz, Texas Highway Patrol. I'm here to investigate the crash. What is your name? Manuel Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez, uh, are you okay? Are you hurting? I'm, I'm You're fine. fine. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me briefly where were you coming from? We were coming from a party. Okay. And then what happened? I uh, just uh, head on collision. Hi, buddy. One you day day got my head box. On, What's going on, man? What's your name? Mateo, man. man. Look, you just got some bad cuts there, man. All right, here's what's going to happen, man. We're going to try to get you out of this car, okay? Where am I going? Man, we're going to take care of your friends, all right? You're in, a, you're in a pretty bad accident, all right, bud? I need you to sit back right here, okay? Ma'am, can you hear me? Take care of everybody, ma'am. You need to stay calm, all right? We need air med. I've got a faint pulse. You need to get somebody in here and get some spine. All right, buddy. Hey, you just stay with you. Keep doing what you're doing, okay? All right, keep your hand on there. You got a lot of blood coming out of you. Okay? Uh, you stay real calm. We will be transporting hey, we're probably going to have to patient. cut this door off. Services. I don't think we can get him out on that uh, side. Right, but you're going to hear lots, lots of noises. All right. You want to put your feet together? Hands down to your side. I'm going to check your eyes right quick. I need you to reach up with your right hand, take your glasses off, bring them back down. All right, see the tip of my finger? Move from side to side. Follow with your eyes only while keeping your head still. Begin. <laughs> <laughs> please stop. <laughs> what did we do? Right, oh my God. Mateo, please tell me he's okay. Those are my, my friends. Right. All right, buddy, just keep oh, doing what you're doing. Do? How's she doing, fellas? We got a weak pulse. Weak pulse. Roger that. Okay, we got an LZ set up for you back over here on the west side, so let's go ahead and expedite that. That'll be a hot load. Here you go, man. Uh, we'll go, ahead and get, go ahead and get this around his neck. All right. You can you make sure they got C-spine before you do that? All right. All right, Mason, how's your patient doing? Just need doing? you to be real still, okay? They're going to cut we're this door off. You stay real still. How's your patient doing? Man, he's he's marginal. i got right, open arm fractures. got a lot of blood. Uh, I mean, he's doing okay right now. A little disoriented. Don't know what's going on. But we're gonna, Roger, I need to get him going. i got to get get him cut out. It's going to take a little okay, bit. Okay, we took so. that trauma to the trauma center. You'll go to the, to the secondary. Good deal. We're going to go ahead and cover you. What do you need, man? We go All right, man. Door, we don't want to get anything. Flying at you, okay? They're going to cover you up so you don't get hit Captain with anything, Millsap, right, bud? Captain got to get you to check that other vehicle and check hey, Ryan, the status of that Just keep talking driver, to him, man, okay? All right. Good deal. Yes, sir. I'm getting the tar put on him right now. There's going to be a lot of glass and stuff flying when we start cutting that door. <laughs> get him out. Push back, That's probably good like that. DOA, roger that. We'll know how to take you. Ryan, can you grab that, bud? Dispatch battalion one. Can you notify the justice that you have the fatality on scene, please? All right. All right, Mateo. Four, five, six. All right, Mateo, just be seven, real still, man. Eight. You're going to hear lots of noises, nine, all right? You doing okay? One. All right, buddy. Two. Just, hey, just three, keep, I just need you to be real still for me, okay? Four, five. Real still for me. How's your arm Relax. feeling? All right, man. All right. Try not to touch it, man. You got you got some bone and stuff sticking out right there. Okay. All right. You remember what happened, Mateo? We were at a party. Man, you've been you've been drinking tonight? A little bit. A little bit. I'm a all right, man. Where are you coming from? Is everything going to be okay? Man, we're going to take good care of you. We're taking care of our friends. We're taking care of you right now, okay? Hey. Man, I just got, uh, I got this, door, this door off here. Uh, and he's been drinking. So uh, I need to get him going as soon as I get this door off. Are you going to be all right? Yeah. Don't worry about them. They're being tended to. We'll look into their... Um, we'll let you know how they're doing. The next test we're going to do is the one leg stand. We need you to do is stand on my line. On my light there. Put your feet together, hands down to your side. When I tell you to begin, you're going to raise one foot six inches off the ground while you're counting by 1,000s, 1,001, 1,002, and so on until I tell you to begin. Which foot are you going to raise? This one. When you raise your right foot, time begins. Go ahead. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, seven, 1,000. Okay. Still doing okay? 10, 1, okay, man. You're doing a great job. Doing a great job. Just keep being real still, okay? Things are going to happen pretty fast once I get this door off, okay? We're going to get you out of here very quickly, so I just need you to listen to what we, and do what we, we say, okay? Okay. All right, buddy.
you say, how old did you say you were, Mateo? Um, I'm 18. 18? Okay. Tell me what all hurts right now, man. Uh, my nose. Your nose? My right. arm. Okay. Uh, can, you, can you feel me touching your legs down here? Yes. Okay, good deal. All right, man. Y'all good? Good deal. All right, man, they're cutting that door off right now. It'll be just a second, okay? Where are my parents? Yeah, as soon as they get that pop, we'll be ready to go. <laughs> Where are my friends? Calm down, okay? We're gonna worry about right now, okay? Your friends are getting taken care of, okay? All right. Mateo, we're we're taking we've taken care of your friends, buddy, all right? We gotta take care of you right now, okay? Are they okay? Man, we're taking good care of them, okay? We're taking very good care of them. All right. They just about got that door cut off. This is gonna happen very fast once I get this door off, all right? Okay. All right. Still doing okay? How's that arm look, man? Uh, it hurts. Yeah, you got a pretty bad break there, buddy. Pretty bad break. You can feel my legs? Can you feel me touching you there? Yes. Yes, okay. Do you remember, do you remember the accident? No. No? Okay. Do you have your seatbelt on? No. Okay. All right, they just about got that door off, all right? You just keep being real still. Keep talking to Ryan right there. Okay. See? That's her, based on the totality of the circumstances, how right, the crash man. occurred, the strong odor of alcohol, the fact that you're unsteady on your feet, I have no doubt you're on the influence of alcohol. You're under arrest as a suspect of intoxication manslaughter. Turn around, place your hands behind your back. Okay. You ready? Oh my God. Work. Can I get you all, the all right, here we go, buddy. Just a second. I went to remind them that you You just need you to be real still and let us do all the moving, okay? Okay. All right. All right, man. We're gonna move you that way just a little bit. All right, you ready for that back one? We went to a party and we don't know what happened. I'm gonna put this right underneath your bottom here, okay? <laughs> All right. You just let us do all the work. Oh Guys, y'all watch that. Y'all watch that arm. That's pretty bad. Where are they taking All right, I got C-spine. Y'all ready to move him out? Him. All right, here we go. You got that cord? Here we go. One, two, three. Y'all watch that arm. It's pretty bad. Come up a little more. He's got he's got some bones sticking out there. All right, let's get him, let's get him secure to the board. Where are you taking me? Man, we're, we're, we're going to take you to Shannon, okay? Gabby, Gabby. Be real good still, bro. You're good to go on the foot. Yep, good. All right, man. Just be real still. They're putting some blocks on the side of your head to keep your head and neck in a straight line, okay? Looks like you probably hit your head, too, man, all right? How's that nose feeling? You being it, you always breathe okay? All right, let's get that in here. All right, we ready to move? We're just going to pull him out. That'll work. Go for it. Yep. You ready, miss? Yep. Man, I'm gonna need someone to drive us in. I'm gonna need both hands in the back of the ambulance. He's pretty messed up. Tom, Tom, if you don't mind me, I got one uh, walk out. It's over there with PD. You go over there and get her checked out. Make sure she's okay. All right, Mateo, we're gonna get you moved to the ambulance, buddy. Please help me. We need to do this pretty fast. He's not doing too good. Oh, that's my friend. That's my friend. Okay, you're doing okay.
Left side, all right. All right, here's the deal, man. We're pulling up to the hospital now, okay? Here's what's fixing to happen, all right? We're gonna unload you out of here. We're gonna take you in. We're gonna have a lot of questions for you, all right? Soy yo, Manuel. Estoy, estoy en la cárcel. It wasn't always this way. I can't believe one night changed everything. It wasn't supposed to happen to us.
God, there isn't anything I wouldn't give to go back in time and do it all differently. But now, all that's left is the pain, regret, and the shattered dreams of what could have been. Haley Bryce Castle was born on November 4th, 1998 in San Angelo, Texas. Tragically, our beautiful angel of grace was prematurely taken at the hands of one foolish moment. Haley is preceded in death by her paternal grandfather, Ray Dean Castle, her maternal great-grandmother, Unita Bernice Woods. She is survived by her parents, Robin and Joshua Harvey, brothers Hunter, Bailey, and Jeremiah, maternal grandparents Jim and Carolyn Stoltz, paternal grandmother Jay Cass, Joy Castle, and paternal grandparents David and Janet Harvey, as well as numerous friends and family. Haley was in the top 8% of her graduating class and a member of the National Honor Society at Central High School. Haley planned to attend University of Oregon in the fall of 2017 reserving a $24,000 academic scholarship and planning on majoring in pre-med to further pursue a future in pediatric oncology. Her passion to pursue pediatric oncology came from a diagnosis of Hodgkin's lymphoma during her freshman year. Haley was an active member of the Sierra Vista United Methodist Church Youth, San Angelo Symphony Ambassador President, co-captain of the Central Varsity Soccer Team, Student leader, student leader fellow of fellowships of Christian athletes nominated to the Central Homecoming Court and Central's senior most favorite friendly girl. Haley was a true gift, an open hug, a smile for everyone. She stayed steadfast to her belief of truth. Beauty comes from within, being kind, courageous, and a friend to many. Her pleasant character, captivated all around her. She was your friend, never a stranger, always an I love you. Haley, where do I begin? Why does one spontaneous, senseless moment have to turn into such a tragedy? How will I ever get through the days, months, years without you? My life was for you. Your smile was my smile. Your great moments, my moments. Your accomplishments, my accomplishments. You are my everything. Why do I have to miss the enthrallment of your college pursuit, the elegance of your wedding day, the wonders of grandchildren? You are my everything. Why do I have to live without you? How can I live when you cannot? May you continue along your path with the innocence and grace you so gently touched our hearts with. Nurture yourself with the beauty of God's plan and be our light of understanding in a world where darkness is all too often triumph. You will always and forever remain within my heart. I love you. Hey guys. Wow, what a night. Dude, Mateo. I never knew you could throw those dance moves the way you did. And Manuel, dude, you sure can make a shot. Gabby, girl, there are literally no other words to describe you other than, can you ever be the life of the party? Guys, we sure played it up right. What happened? Where did it all go wrong? One minute, we were listening to music, laughing, having a great time, and within a split second, our lives fell apart before our very eyes. We all knew what we were doing. We knew we needed to be careful, but I do not think any of us thought something could truly happen to us. Because after all, we have our whole lives ahead of us, right? We are indispensable. Well, 
We sure miscalculated that, didn't we? I am not really even sure where to start. How can I make up for the decisions I made that night? I can't. There are so many people I want to see, touch, laugh with, smile with, and talk with. If I had known this would be my last night, I would have said so much more, done things so differently. Where do I even begin? I thought my life was headed in a positive direction, but now I will never walk the stage, graduate college, stroll down the aisle with my dad, and I'll never have children of my own to guide and to watch grow. To my teachers and mentors, you were there for me throughout my whole life, guided me, molded me into the person I was. So much effort and time spent, such wasted potential. All of you deserve so much more from me. To my friends and my peers, too many to mention all of your names. I cannot express how ashamed I am. I have let you down in so many ways. I thank each and every one of you for your many memories, but now I will never get to see your smiling faces, hear your laughs, and for that, I will forever be sorry. And lastly, to my family, you have been there for me through it all, through the tears, the laughter, the failures and celebrations. I know it's going to hurt, walking by my room, seeing my friends, having to listen to others' accomplishments, knowing that I am no longer with you. Your plans and dreams for me have been shattered. You will miss the most significant moments in my life. You've been robbed of your time with me. I am deeply sorry for the distress, distress my actions have caused. We have the ability to make a choice. The choice is yours to make. Please don't make my same mistake. Please take this program to heart and live out your dreams.